So now is a good time to do this other quest since since we're going in that direction anyway. If we do not find the mistress, it'll all be for naught. We must do something soon. Um, excuse me. Yes, who might you be? Sorry to interrupt. We're from the Bracer Guild. Oh, wait, you're... Huh? Hey, you're Raina, right? You know each other? Uh, yeah, she's a student at the Royal Academy. But what are you doing here, Raina? It's quite a long story. I assume you saw our post. Well, yeah, that's why we're here. I'd like for you to handle this mission as quickly as possible. Will you accept it right now? Um, sounds pretty urgent. Let's get to it. You accept then? Oh, thank you. I will explain the situation to the Bracers. You go deal with the rest of them. As you wish, miss. Please take care of our mistress. Mistress style, even. Mistress, mistress. At night, come and we want to go. Do 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 do. One time when a chess player was just getting ready to beat another player, when an interruption cost the winning chess player to leave, wasting a bunch of chess clock. <laughs> I wonder if rap music played. Er, yes? Who was that exactly? I feel like I missed something. A servant of the house, like me. We we're both charged with caring for the mistress. Charged with, uh... Yes, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me explain what's happened from the beginning. Please. Right then. Estelle, you remember Felicity, yes? Felicity? Uh, yeah, actually. I think I'd know her if I saw her. Yet another student, I'm guessing. Correct. If nothing else, you can identify her by her uniform. It's the same as mine. So what's Felicity done exactly? She ran away. Eh? As I said, she ran away. Specifically, from here at the Interrose. She ran away from the restaurant? Why would she need to do that? Why did she flee? I would like to ask her that myself. After all, today is the most auspicious day for our mistress. And what's that supposed to mean? Take a look over there by, by the corner. Hang on, that's... The son of a certain Erebonian noble, yes. Hopefully not Marcos Ballard. He has traveled far into what most Erebonians consider a barbarian hinderland for a wedding conference with our mistress. Oh, okay. I see. A wedding co- You mean like an arranged marriage? Felicity has to marry him? Student she may be, but the mistress is 16. 16. As a daughter of a noble house of the Erebonian Empire, it is shameful for her to have no proposals. Now just a freaking second. There are kind of more important things in your family's high and mighty honor or whatever. You consider what she thinks. This proposal comes from a person of notable lineage and personal status. If Milady Felicity meets him, I'm sure she will find him compatible. 
that's so not the problem here. Man, I can kind of see why she fled at this point. She's run away from a marriage proposal if she doesn't want them. I can understand how she feels, but what she's done is rather impulsive. Yeah, I feel for her, but she didn't really think it through. Wish she'd thought about how this would get other people wrapped up in the mess. You are, of course, entitled to your own opinions. I will refrain from voicing my objections. What matters now is not a debate over the merits of free love, or the, mount, or the merits of eating salad, but bringing back Mistress Felicity. Yeah, more debates aside, her being out on her own, out of contact with everyone, isn't helping anybody. <laughs> Least of all her. Any idea where she would have gone to? Felicity's personality is such that she tends to go off as far as she can when she has committed this. I suspect she has gone quite. <laughs> I suspect she has gone quite some way at this point. Style. Quite some way. Other side of the city, maybe. She wouldn't go onto the roads. Quite the opposite, in fact. We know she is nowhere in town. In other words, she has taken to the roads by default, on foot. It's no good. What? But that's really dangerous right now with the monsters the way they are. Ergo, my request. You understand now how severe the situation is. Damn, say that first instead of distracting us with this wedding stuff. Any idea where, 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 where this girl went? I take a vague direction at this point. The mistress said again and again she was returning to the academy. Beyond that, I fear I cannot help. The Academy, so toward Bruin. That'd be west from here. Yeah, we, we should check the road to Ruin first, probably. So the West Coast Highway. It's a plan. Okay, Raina, I still don't really like this, but we'll, we'll go find her. Anything else before we go? Yes. Hmm. Given everything, may I ask you to convey a message to her? Sure, what's up? If you would, tell her you're such a coward. That is all. Uh, what? You're... Really sure you want us to deliver that? You 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 want to give her an anti-calculator as well? I am sure. Call it a calculated action. I did not mean for that to happen, but fine, whatever. Let's just get this done. <laughs> like a prom dress. Good luck to you, then. Alright, so what's this dude up to? The young lady is currently applying her cosmetics. We'll arrive shortly, so we ask for your patience for just a short time longer. about all that? Alright, so now we want to head out the West Coast Highway. Like a pool expert. chess along the way, so you can check that out. East City of Post, West Revenue Village. 
We're not going there just yet. <laughs> dun, dun, da, da, da. Oh, we need to change up this order. Halo Mall. Oh, 1111 HP. Drops dumplings and monster carapace. A monster inhabiting hard bedrock. Its massive claws boast of incredible strength. Even. Bam! And 16 style. Critical style. Yeah. Estelle, you fail at life. Uh. Boom, Chaka Laka. Scary. Do -do 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 -do. Dumplings. Dumplings. Do, 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 do. Mushroom snake. 1285 HP weakens water. Drop a beast flesh and firefly fungus. A monster inhabiting woodlands. Hunts with its poisonous fang. Make all for backup. And boiled egg or cheese. You know, green. Wind does nothing, of course. Weakens earth. Drops gummy eyeball. Soft bodied monster in a shell that attacks with wind based art explodes when defeated. The fact, Jack. Punch it in the mouth. <laughs> Zen can take it. He's a freaking tank, you know. Do, 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 do. Guess we can try out these fire spells we got. Like Napalm Breeze. Don't poison sin and do one thing. Oh. Napalm breath. <laughs> Burn in hell. Flames of hell. Punish the wicked. You know what I'm talking about? Piece of cake. Do -do 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 Get some wind stuff, but that's what we need the most. Do -do -do. Mushroom snake, even. For the chesticle? Found Tira Ball. You scour every square inch of this chest's empty innards, desperate to find any scrap of treasure you missed. <laughs> Scavengers. Uh, Revenue Village. We're not going there just yet. But we will be going there. North Revenue Village. East City of Bose. West Crown Pass. There's a fishing spot over here, by God! Fishing style, even. Smart guy, even. Hail the size of a monster can, even. Jim, even. It's a head! Garp, not crap.
Crab! Crabby. Or not crab. How's it go? Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Row. We've really run out of rows. Really haven't been getting much lately. Keep using them. Hit! Trout! Beat that, you little trout snuffer. Red flies. Oh, that one came quicker than I was expecting. Trout! Good way to get time stopped, huh? River bug. Hit! Liberal carp. Not crap. Bamboo fishing rod. The professor losing his family. Snakehead. Dumplings. Dumplings. Do do do. The bro carp. Is why the beep on a metal rod tried. Uh, got 46 carps, not crap. Because we keep catching them, that, that would be why. Naked. The blue celestial bomb, that's not a bad thing to find. Trout! We have been catching a few trouts, haven't we? Naked. <laughs> Two lucky fangs. Hidden over there, but there's not. Very tragic. Not gonna lie. Do 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 do. It's empty, but if you planted a seed and kept coming back to water, it might be able to grow a potato or something. <laughs> I think we missed a chest in the previous one. Somewhere. I must find it, Johnny. Softening bomb. Ever notice nobody else is running around looting these things? Why do you think that is? Whoa! Talk about denied. Denied. Um, 
Tikron Pass. Got some scorpions that look like they have wings for some unknown reason. King Scorpion, 11.53 HP. We can swim, drops leathery tail. A large multi legged arthropod with a very potent poison that paralyzes its foes. It's always fun. <laughs> Seven, T to level 55. They both level up at the same time. Imagine that. I get breaks 5,000 HP. Peter breaks 2,900 HP. Well, well, like a cool person. That's a different one. Isn't it? Queen Scorpion. 1541 HP, we can win. Drops Lucky Fang. A large multi legged arthropod with a paralyzing toxin can call allies. Yeah. And... Little Spiral Flizzinger. That is inappropriate behavior, sir. Forget about that. <laughs> Scary. Scary style. There's a cheesicle. Girl ball. Um, dude, I'm trying to. Read the chest message, sir. You really want to fight that badly? Like, the hell? My... Boiled Egger R. 946 HP. Fire does nothing with its water. Touch their gels in a soft bodied monster in a shell. Spire based R. It explodes when defeated. Yeah. It damn right it does. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, Chakalaka. Don't cast a spell, you little punk. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Just blooches all over you. Disgusting, sir. You sicken me. You are a disgusting person, you know that? You really are. I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. Then you'll know how it feels. <laughs> they messed with the wrong guy. Wrong guy style. Like that time Mitch interviewed the wrong guy on the 530 club. Somewhere deep down in the last pulsing remnants of your soul, you know you're a monster. <laughs> Oh, there's our monster. One of them. The first of, of the three. Blade Fang, 5836 HP. Drops Lucky Fang, Mother of Tail. An ancient reptile monster, but something's off about it. Almost like it's scared. Okay. Sure. Sure, why not? 
done here in the mushroom field. Okay, that was inappropriate. But now you've walked out of range, so that completely eliminated any point in doing that. Aerostorm will still work. It's monstrous range. Storm damage style. But it Of course, Titanic Roar always hits everyone, so... <laughs> or since it's Zen, it's not going to hurt that much, but I don't hurt this. Ow. That hurts, sir. That freaking hurt. Boom! A thousand damage even. How about that? That is Kudio. Yeah! This is so bad. True hurricane. Rock hill, I got hurricane. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Defeated. Bam. That's what you get, sirs and ma'ams. So these guys really aren't a big deal at all. <laughs> Should have done that. You may have noticed something seemed a bit off about that fight, but we'll get into that later. It becomes more relevant. Estelle level 60. She's the highest leveled character now. Terminated monster at Cone Pass. Still oh, broke 5100 HP like a cool person. Surviving bomb. Oh, sure, just take it. My name's Eric, by the way. I bet asking my name never even crossed your mind, did it? <laughs> Area bomb. You know the chest is empty, but it has served you well. Instead of opening it, you give it a gentle pat on the head. Ho 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 ho! That's what happened. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Chest filled out, yeah. Under Earth Sabbath. Ah! charge. There's nothing in this chest, but sometimes it's good to pretend. It is good to pretend on occasion. You know what I'm talking about? Southwest City of Ruin. I think I'm gonna go use the facility. I'll be right back. Good 
weren't making it all the way out here. Lately, there have been a number of powerful monsters on the roads, making them dangerous. Be free to use the post facilities to get some rest. I think we can get a book here. And this is also where we advance that quest, but make sure you get the book first. Because when you advance the quest, I believe it takes you back to close. Heard Norman got elected as the new mayor of Ruin. It's mostly all about turning Ruin into a tourist spot, but he promised to not fully neglect the harbor. Like they say, I guess, balance is important. Sure is. We can be hard here. It's always good. I was surprised that Almathea and the rest of the Intelligence Division were bold enough for one more attack. But with their defeat, the threat of insurrection within the kingdom has truly ended at last. Or has it? You never know, man. We men of the border garrison can finally sleep, the sleep of the just, for once. Ah! Er, yeah, hi. I was gonna read this over dinner, but... Well, I got so into it, I burned right through it. There's not much to do for fun here at a posting like this, so you tend to blow through that sort of thing. Anyway, here, might as well share, right? Did Gambler Jack Volume 7! At this point, the only pleasure left to us is Off Officer Sorosis cooking. He always says, oh, it's just a hobby. But he's seriously a pro. Lately, he's had some time and has been in the kitchen a lot. Alright, settle down, babe. It's gonna be alright, I promise. Gambler Jack, Volume 7. Chapter 7, The Banquet of Darkness. Not ominous. The ship was utterly silent as it cut through the velvety darkness of the night. In contrast to the stillness and inky black of the outside, one layer down, the ship's interior was filled with light and sound. Furnishings from every part of the continent adorned the walls, and a band of musicians played a cheery song. The orbital glow of a chandelier imported from the burrow shone down on every form of human desire. In the hall built into the center of the ship, guests laughed and chatted. They appeared to be the finest of ladies and gentlemen. But each and every one were a part of the seedy Republican underworld. They were the type of folk that spoke of murder as easily as one would dinner or a fine wine. Their faces hadn't changed much in seven years. In the furthest depths of the hall, there was discreet seating for the highest ranked of the lot, and just like seven years ago, there was a certain group of men there. Men with hats, even. One old man was flanked by several bodyguards. His name was Chief Minister Shamrock. Ken Shamrock, even. He was the host of the party aboard the ship. A long white beard trailed down his chest. It was his symbol, and also the symbol of power. Though he retired several years before, he continued to serve in an advisory role in many organizations. Retirement had done nothing to slow his influence on the nation. He was a man well worthy of being called the Monster of the Underworld. Chief Minister Shamrock held this party once every year as a plan for the powerful to meet and share useful information. Of course, there were many in the group who could hardly be called friendly in their attitude. Two of these such men were Enrique and Juan. Enrique, seven years ago, and this time, was the man who twice now built this plan for a gambling match. Originally, he had, he had been an arms dealer, but ten years before, when he started dealing with the Eastern Quarter, he had expanded his business to smuggling drugs and became a villain on the rise. The best of the new class. Conversely, one was a villain. 
whose roots ran deep in this region back to before the Eastern Corridor. He was the kind of man who ruled, over, ruled from the top, commanding gangs of thugs, funks and the like. For the last ten years in the Eastern Corridor, Enrique and one had been in the middle of a territory dispute. Okay, eight thugs. It was a flight of it was a fight of new versus old. Neither side had yielded a wrench, and every drop of blood was washed away with more blood in their fights. It was, it, it, it was at the height of that situation seven years ago that Enrique had suggested a duel with gambling as the theme. A one-on-one, -on -one full cheating match between the best of the best of gamblers. On that match, they would both wager their territory in the Eastern Corridor. He brought the suggestion to one as a way to reduce the amount of profitless bloodshed at least a bit. At first, one had been against it, but the endless fighting was taking a toll on his own organization. Even so, one was an old-fashioned man, and not the type to easily jump to new ideas. Enrique next brought the idea to Chief Minister Shamrock, and the advisor to the underworld permitted the match. As the Chief Minister, Shamrock was also advised to One's group. With them having granted permission, One could barely refuse the match. And that concludes Volume 7! Alright. We haven't had to be as alert recently. I'm glad we can finally return to business as normal. I don't have some time to cook again. This way leads to Roma. We got enough to be getting on without heading to other regions. Let's turn back. Indeed. There she is. Phew, glad I managed to get this far. Oh, but I can't stay here forever. I've got to figure out some way to get back to Janice, or... Aha! Looks like a Royal Academy student. I'm guessing that's the runaway we're looking for. It's like... Yeah. Oh, you are... I am. Uh, hi. It's been a while. I guess it has anyway. <laughs> it's only hit me just now. Since we last met at the Academy, yes. What brings you here today? If I can, I'd like to ask you something. We're dealing with an emergency, and we'd like your cooperation. My cooperation? You gotta have cooperation. With what exactly? Not hard or anything. We just need you to come with us. Back to Bose. You... I knew it! Let me guess. Your reign has hired thugs now. Thugs? Uh... I kinda like not to be compared to surly guys with clubs, thanks. Nah. Um... <laughs> now hang on, miss. Figuring that school would have taught this lesson. Bracers are sworn to neutrality in conflicts. We're no one's thugs and no one's operatives. We're not Jaegers, after all. <laughs> yes, I know what you are, in theory. But trust me, I know how the world really works. Regardless of pretty words, you intend to drag me back by force, don't you? Try to flee it in, into the dangerous wilderness on your own. We may have to, yes. This ain't a barrel of laughs for us either. Please, just cooperate and come with us. Stay back, you! Any closer and I'll scream! Felicity, just calm down a second. It's okay. We're not going to do anything. Exactly how I was how I was afraid this would go down. Agate, you back off too. Let me handle this. Okay, Felicity, listen. 
We are here to take you into protective custody, yes. And look, I can totally sympathize with you hating this marriage thing. Marriages do suck, do they not? Oh, certainly, that's unforgivable in and of itself. The real problem, though, is Reyna. Wait, I'm sorry, what do you mean? She betrayed me utterly. Betrayal! We were supposed to be making a little tourist trip out to Bo's. See the market. Say hello to Mayor Maybo. I stopped by Bo's briefly before, but never had a chance to really see it. So you can imagine how excited I was to make the trip. And then, as soon as we arrive, what do I find but an arranged marriage waiting for me like a snake pit? Raina had been deceiving me from the very start. Now I see. It sounds like you guys have had problems for a while. But, look, doesn't that make it even more important to go back? You should meet Raina and tell her how you really feel. No, that's... that's impossible. I never, ever want to see Raina again. Not making much progress here. Hey, come on. How long are we going to play around? She ain't going to come willing. We're going to have to be bastards about this. I, uh... really would rather I not come to you. Give me just a bit longer here. I'm going to try the hard sell. Okay, Felicity. You really won't go back to town. Absolutely not. As long as Reyna and that arranged marriage are waiting for me, I never intend to set foot in Bose again. I see. Well, all I have to say then is... You really are stubborn, Felicity. You want to make sure you say, You really are a coward, Felicity. For, for, for bonus BP. I'm a what? Did you just call me coward? Yeah, I did. And how am I a coward? Explain yourself. Well, you, you've been listing off a whole bunch of reasons for a while now. But the real reason you don't want to go back is because you're scared of the marriage meeting, right? I, I am not scared! Then, then why not just go back to Bose and confront it? You seem dead set on making the wedding meeting out to be purely Reyna's fault. But looking at the facts, there's no way she did all this because she wanted to. Think about her position. This can't possibly be just her fault. Well... And yet, you're latching on her as an excuse to keep running away. We all run into stuff we hate in life. You don't want to risk being forced into marriage. I don't want to drag you back to post for it. But if we all just try and run away from it, sooner or later it catches up to us. It sure does. I think Raina knew you'd try to run from this. That's why she felt she had to lie. You had to be a lying liar that lies. That... yes. I know that. Okay, yes. You're entirely right. That's why I'm so angry at Rain. Do, 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 do. That's why I'm so angry at Raina, huh? Raina always spends so much time being nice to me, flattering me. But when it comes down to it, she couldn't be honest to me about this of all things. Aren't real friends supposed to trust one another? Well, Estelle, isn't that what friends are supposed to do? Answer me! Is what I'm saying wrong? Whoa, Felicity, wait a second. I'd like a second to, you know, actually answer. Ah, ah, 
Ah. Yeah, now I get it. You got a lot more than just an objection to an arranged marriage in this. Aren't you taking it out on the wrong person, though? You're right. Estella is the one who needs my vet. I need to save this anger for Raina. Wait, so you'll go back with us? You're sure? Yes. I do, I do feel a little more clear-headed now that I've managed to spit all that out. For now, let's go back to Bo's. I need to let Reyna know how much she hurt me. <laughs> We're no longer screaming at each other, at least. You are sure you're ready, however. We could wait here a little longer, perhaps. No, I'm alright. Estella's a pony. I can't just run from this. I need to confront what's being forced on me. Let everyone know what I think. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's the stuff most is. Sorry, I know I was kind of playing hardball there for a while. No, I should be the one to apologize. I know that you know the answer to that question already, Estelle. Estelle, even. Let us be off, then, everyone. After all, I will need your escort on the way home. Leave it to us. Leave it all to us! Let's get... Let's get this show on the road, then. Indeed. Ah, Mistress, I'm glad to see you are well. As am I. We've been waiting. I've been waiting for this! Raina, let me be clear on one thing. I still haven't even remotely forgiven you. Yes, I'm well aware. We can, however, discuss that later. Yeah, I suppose we can. This isn't something we can do in five or ten minutes. Well then, lead the mistress to her seat. Of course. Mistress Felicity, please, this way. Alright. I'm sorry I put you guys through so much trouble. No, trust us. We understand. Good luck in there, okay? Yeah, see you there. Bye, everyone. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. We performed well, Bracers. In the place of my lord, allow me to offer our gratitude for your efforts. It may not be much, but this is a token of our thanks. Please take it. I'm gonna get Tornado Fan for some unknown reason. Uh, yeah, thanks. Well, that's the job settled. For better or worse, but, uh... Reyna, are you okay? Your relationship with Felicity kinda seems to be, you know, a wreck. This is all for Felicity's sake. It is the fate of we servants to be hated by those we serve. I don't know about that, but... Something like that, anyway. Uh, Raina... If you ever... If you never ever considered that just maybe Felicity doesn't think that way... I... Don't understand what you mean. Felicity thought of you as a friend, okay? Like, it's really obvious. If you thought of your if, if you thought your role was to be hated, I think that's where you two slipped away from each other. Maybe it's a little big headed of you to be saying all this, though. No, it is something worth thinking about. Gives you a little something to chew on. I believe Felicity and I will need to sit down and talk for a while, after all. However, for now, if you'll pardon me. Oh yeah, good luck. Right. Farewell. Welcome to the chat. 
Well, that's another Tempest waiting to rage in its I can hope they can rebuild their friendship, but man. Our involvement in this draws to a close here, though. The karma between those two must be balanced by them. The quest the missing lady completed. Another one bites the dust. Our, our, our job is to bling blah, 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 blah. Our job is to bring Felicity back from wherever she ran off to. Felicity was talking about going back to the Academy. For now, that's our only clue. Found Felicity at Crone Pass. Succeeded at persuading her. We brought her back safe. 